afternoon. Today, Today I would like, like to welcome, welcome graduates, distinguished faculty, and colleagues to this pinning and commencement celebration for fall 2020 and winter 2021 graduating classes for Hunter's College Nursing. I'm Scott Seiber, Campus Executive Director for the Westchester Campus. Many of you may remember that in the new student orientation, I tell the class it is rare, rarely a year goes by where you won't encounter obstacles. And over the next year, you will have to overcome obstacles in nursing school and in life. How you adapt and navigate those obstacles will determine your success. You will always remember your graduation. Your entire nursing school journey took place during the first pandemic in over 100 years. You had to navigate obstacles no students before you experienced, yet you were still able to overcome, survive, advance, and achieve your goals. Obstacles aside, one thing students rarely consider is the friendships they will develop over the course of a year. Many of you have built lifelong friendships forged from the fires of nursing school. When asked the question, why nursing? Students give different answers, but all have the same common goal, helping others and serving their communities. We realize what an inspiring group of special people you are and what great nurses you will be. Graduation marks a new chapter of your life story let us celebrate your success and your accomplishments. Congratulations. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Dan Kramer. Dean Kramer has been a nurse and nurse practitioner for 28 years with a specialty in women's health. Her career focuses on at-risk populations in San Francisco Bay Area, working in inner city clinics for low-income families and free clinics for HIV AIDS patients. She has a strong history in volunteerism, donating time to rape crisis centers, domestic abuse shelters, the American Red Cross, the International Red Cross, and medical missions to third world countries. She has been in academics for more than 12 years and was the first ADN faculty at Andros College of Nursing. She currently serves as our Senior VP of Academics for the ADN program. Please join me in welcoming Dean Kramer. Thank you, Mr. Stiver. Good afternoon, graduates. Over the years throughout my academic career, I've given many commencement speeches, but never have I had an opportunity quite like this. Your graduation is different and special. You have not only conquered nursing school, but you've done it during a historic time in our country. There's no denying that the pandemic has impacted your educational journey. I know the challenges that you faced in school, I know the commitment it required. And I can only imagine the barriers that you have faced at home with illnesses, homeschooling, loss of daycare, and financial challenges. Some of you have had to work long hours on the front lines, risking your health and that of your families to make sure that our loved ones have groceries, services, and health care. Some of you have lost your jobs and face poverty. Some of you have had to step up to new roles and become the care provider or the breadwinner or the teacher for your family. Some of you were isolated from your loved ones, changing your traditional support system at a time when you needed them the most. We know that everyone who enters nursing school has a dream of becoming a nurse, but because of all the challenges, you've had to work harder and let's face it, 
You've, You've had, had to, to want, want that, that dream more, more fiercely than those, those who have come before you. I always tell graduates that I want it all for them. I wish for them to experience the good, the bad, and the ugly of nursing. Wishing the good is obvious, right? These are the times that keep us coming back for more. But people always look at me strangely when I wish the bad and the ugly for them. But the bad times are when we learn the most about ourselves and when we really grow. These are the moments that become a reminder not to take the good times for granted. And the ugly experiences are when we truly learn the meaning of commitment, sacrifice, and humility. We have the opportunity to view these experiences and determine their effect on us. Will they break us or shape us to be unbreakable? You all know the barriers and challenges that COVID brought into your life. You may already describe the events of the last 12 or 15 months as good, bad, and ugly. But I truly hope you recognize and appreciate all the gifts that this experience gave you. You received the gift of strength. I hope you look back at this journey and think, if I can do that, I can do anything. I hope the strength you found motivates you to push yourself in your personal and professional life. When the world of nursing gets tough, and believe me, it will, I hope you are reminded of this time, when you find yourself exhausted from working too many double shifts, or when a particularly emotional patient case brings you to your knees in tears. Remember that you are stronger than you know, and your patients desperately rely on that strength. You received the gift of adaptability. You had to adjust quickly to ever-changing new normals inside and outside of school. This gift will serve you well with the ever-changing new normals in the world of medicine and nursing. There will always be a new technology a new medication, and a new treatment. Nursing is constantly changing and you must adapt to those changes. You've prepared yourself well. You received the gift of confidence. I hope you never again doubt your abilities. I hope you use this to become a strong patient advocate and stand up for those who are unable to stand up for themselves. I hope you are confident enough to fight for those who have been victimized and abused and to help right some of the wrongs in this world. You learned commitment to your dream, and now you can use that gift to become committed and dedicated to this amazing profession and become a role model for others who dare to dream and follow in your footsteps. You practice the gift of patience. You've had to wait for schedules, and Zoom links, and dine-in restaurants, and even opportunity to see your family. I hope the increased patience that you needed to get you through gives you the ability to recognize when your patients need your extra time. I hope it helps you remember that we are never too busy to show kindness and compassion and spend a few extra moments just comforting someone. You received the gift of creativity. You had to get creative with new ways of learning and connecting to your community and to each other. I hope you continue to be an innovator and to help advance the field of nursing knowledge because you are not satisfied simply with the status quo. Another gift the pandemic has given all of us is the recognition that life and time is precious. Our world can change in an instant. And I hope you learned you should hug your family tighter and take every opportunity to say important words like thank you, I'm sorry, I love you, and I'm here for you. One of the greatest gifts the pandemic has given us is the absolute knowledge 
that nurses change lives. Take pride in that. This is your profession. We make the difference. You make the difference. I hope that you use your newfound gifts every day in your nursing career. The world needs nurses like you with proven qualities of strength, adaptability, confidence, commitment, patience, and creativity, now more than ever. I'm so proud of what you've overcome and achieved, but I'm even more proud and excited about what you will do next for your community. Now is your time to truly shine. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I would like to welcome our faculty speakers to the podium. Need to make, make a little, little adjustment. adjustment. <laughs> well, good, good afternoon. afternoon. I'm, I'm Professor, Professor Leslie Bright, the Assistant Director of Nursing for the Practical Nursing Program. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's, it's my, my honor and privilege, privilege to share in celebrating your momentous achievements and great success. When, when asked to impart congratulatory words of wisdom for this ceremony, the teacher in me immediately formulated an acronym of course, of course I did. did. Those, Those of you who have had me in the classroom know that that's, that's what I do. As instructors, we give a word or a group of letters for which each letter represents a principle or a concept. The acronym I chose for you today is SUCCESS, whereby the first S represents sacrifice. Because without sacrifice, none of this would be possible, and many of you have sacrificed much. I think we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge the sacrifices you have made to be here today. Remember, in the sacrifice, success becomes much sweeter. The next letter is you, for your uniqueness. Each of you possess incredible gifts and talents, whether it's a brilliant acumen to assess situations, the ability to perform technical skills under pressure, or care for your patients with amazing compassion and empathy. Whatever your positive attributes that make you uniquely you, let those define you as a future nurse. The next letter is C, for celebrate, and that's what we're doing here today. Celebrating your immense achievement in graduating from nursing school. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> I encourage you to do something special for yourself to mark this accomplishment. You've worked hard, you've earned it, and you deserve it. The next C is for confidence. Be confident in your knowledge and your skills. Trust the process. With a little time and experience, you too will become an expert nurse. The letter E is for education. I know, a little bit too soon, right, to talk about going back to school. <laughs> but the fact is, nurses are life lifelong learners. So don't ever stop learning and building upon the ba your base of knowledge. Who knows, maybe in a few months or even years, we'll see you back for another degree. The next letter is another S. S. This one is for strength. Don't ever forget, you are strong, you are powerful, and you are overcomers. The very fact that you are here today proves it. The next letter is another S, and our final letter, and it's to encourage you to soar. Soar as up on the wings of eagles, eagles, fly high, reach for the stars, set new goals and dreams for yourselves. For you graduates, the sky is the limit. And remember, all things are possible if you can dream it and you have it here in your heart and you can believe it. So thank you graduates for allowing me to be part of your celebration today, celebrating your great success. Thank you.
Well, good afternoon. I am Professor Katrina Keybaker, and I am the Assistant Director over the Associate Degree Nursing Program. I am here to present the faculty speeches to you. How many have you known for this moment to come? You've been looking forward to this moment for so long, perhaps counting the months, days, hours, and even the moments. Has that been yourself? Just waiting for this day, and it has finally come. Finally, we are at graduation. So, every good nurse has to document and chart the events. And we're going to go over that just quickly. It won't be too long. We'll go over your educational information as it relates to your accomplishments here at Andros College of Nursing. Now, my speech won't be too long. It will be just like a lecture. And those weren't too long, correct? Correct. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. The first day of nursing school was orientation. You are all very nervous a little bit excited when you spoke to the admissions team and the faculty and the campus leadership. You took that first step to being a professional nurse. You listened to the admissions department, the financial aid department. You took your first step towards success by jotting down notes and just making sure that you wrote everything down. Needless to say, you were nervous and excited, but you were like, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into as you started your classes? However, together, you survived. You survived the first exam. You survived med surge. You might have lost some sleep, lost some weight, gained some weight. Of course, gained fantastic friendships. And of course, you felt like maybe you probably lost a little sanity, but you kept going in the right direction. You learned about pediatric nursing, and you know that children are not just little adults. Then you watched The Miracle of Life with OB, and you were in simulation, and that was fantastically fun, wasn't it? Then you learned about mental health nursing, and you learned about how to help people implement coping strategies and skills. As a nursing student, you were determined, focused, and you had a lot of stress. And definitely during these times of the pandemic, more stress than most. We are so proud of your success and your accomplishments on today. The next step is the RN and class and the PN and class. We know that you will complete that without any problems and you'll pass the first time and continue with your education. We are so, so excited about this day for you. And I just want to leave you as I conclude my speech with three great words. To always dream, hope, and inspire. Congratulations to all of you. I'm so proud and pleased of every one of you. And I'd like to welcome Professor Cindy Campbell to the podium to present the awards. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm Cindy Campbell, the campus dean, I'll remove that, and director of nursing for the Westchester campus. Now for the awards. The commencement ceremony is also a time to recognize those students who went above and beyond in demonstrating academic excellence, professionalism, integrity, and clinical aptitude. Students recognized today in each of the four nursing award categories have been selected by faculty and campus leadership. The first nursing award is for academic achievement, recognizing the student from each program who achieved the highest cumulative grade point average. This is no small accomplishment given all that you guys had to do in balancing work, life, school, and everything else that was going on in the last year. 
This level of academic excellence requires commitment, sacrifice, and self-discipline. I will begin with the fall 2020 graduating class. As I call your name, please come up to the stage and accept your award. For the Practical Nursing Day program, the award goes to summa cum laude graduate, Jocelyn Augusto Ecabaria. We will make sure she receives her award. For the Practical Nursing Evening Program, I am pleased to announce the award goes to magna cum laude graduate, Amber Mobley. Academic Achievement Award for the Fall 2020 class goes to ADN Cum Laude graduate, Zena Smith. We will make sure Ms. Smith receives her award. Next, recognizing the Winter 2021 graduating class. For the Practical Nursing Day program, we actually have two Academic Achievement Award winners. The first goes to cum laude graduate, Brittany Anderson. The second goes to cum laude graduate, Stephanie Mason. For the Practical Nursing Evening Program, I am pleased to announce the Academic Achievement Award goes to cum laude graduate, Deborah Comiskey. At this time, I will invite, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm jumping ahead of myself. We have one more. The final Academic Achievement Award for the Winter 2021 class to the Associate Degree Nursing Program goes to cum laude graduate, Emily Miller. At this time, I will invite Professor Debbie Boatwright to the podium to present the Rising Star Awards. It is my honor to give the Rising Star Award. This goes to a student being recognized for demonstrating the qualities of tenacity, perseverance, flexibility, and professionalism. Someone who demonstrated the ability to overcome all the challenges to pursue a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities of essentially needed for being a professional nurse. The winner of the Rising Star Award from the Fall Practical Nursing Day program is Christina Mock.
the winner of the Rising Star Award from the Winter PN Day Program is Charles Sturm. The winner of the Rising Star Award from the Fall PM Evening Program is Jordan Lambert. The winner from the Winter Evening Program for the PNs is Jill Mason. The fall winner of the Rising Star Award from the Associate Degree Program is Jessica Nicole Hillman. And the, win the winner of the Winter ADN program is Emily Miller. At this time, I would like to invite Professor Ken Bentley to come up to um, give the next award, the clinical award. I'm short, so I have to be careful on the steps. <laughs> The, the Clinical, Clinical Achievement, Achievement Award is presented to the individual who excels in clinical skills and reasoning, has an excellent bedside manner, and is motivated, motivated to excel in nursing care. Their communication is always professional, collegial, and respectful. This individual performs as a strong team player, is caring and compassionate, and above all, a patient advocate. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Fall PN Day Program goes to Zachary Drake. The award for the Winter PN Day Program goes to Shauna Naporte. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Fall PN Evening Program goes to Tracy Littlejohn. For the Winter PN Evening Program, the award goes to Megan Deaton. The Clinical Achievement Award for the Fall Associate Degree Nursing Program goes to Zena Smith. And the winner from the Winter ADN program is Nitra Timsina.
Our final award will be presented. I can't speak English. Our final awards will be presented by Professor Patty Cantrell. beautiful people out there. So happy. You guys made it. You made it. Good job. So proud of all of you. It is my privilege to present the Nightingale Award. For those of you who don't know, the Nightingale Award is an award that is given to an individual who has overall excellent students, both clinically and academically, as, as well, well as, as a team, team player, player who works toward the good of the class and the school. Recipients of this award must portray professionalism in every aspect and it must exemplify the essence of a Honduras nurse. The winners of the Nightingale Award for the Fall Day PM program, the first one goes to Heather Coffey. see not here. She's not here. Oh, I'm so sad. All right, the winner for the Winter Day program is Brittany Anderson. The Nightingale Award for the Fall PN Evening Program goes to Amber Mosley. The winter Evening program goes to Deborah Kaminsky. The Nightingale Award for the Fall Associate Degree Nursing Program goes to Marissa Pinto. Is she here? No. My little Ritz Cracker's not here. Oh, darn it. The Nightingale Award for the Winter ADN Program goes to Jessica Nazari. So great, great job, guys. guys. What, what do I always say? say? Breathe, Breathe, right? Take, Take a deep breath in, it's, it's almost over. over. You guys, guys are gonna, gonna do it, it. okay? Please, Please join, join me in congratulating all of the Nursing Award winners. <laughs> and now, Mr. Stiver, Stiver will, will present the graduates. graduates. Another round of applause. I'd now like to recognize the graduates from the Practical Nursing Program. Brianna Al. Brittany Anderson. Anderson. 
Nafisa Ansari. Hattie Berry. Savannah Bowling. Nisha Bray. Sheree Brown. Sheree Brown. Elizabeth Funnel. <laughs> Jennifer Burton. Avery Byers. <laughs> Deborah Kaminsky. Antoinette Davis. <laughs> Leah Dubray. Charles Durham. Durham. 
Ashley Ellison. Megan, Megan Gilligan. Gilligan. Sarah, Sarah Hall. Hall. Kareen Houghton. Chelsea, Chelsea Hook. Hook. <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca Isbell. Isbell. Brittany Johnston. <laughs> Sarata Cabaret. Shelby Landrum. <laughs> Tracy Littlejohn. Jill, Jill Mason. Mason. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie Mason. Mason. Tara Miles. Miles. 
Amber Mobley. Christine Mock. Diamond, Diamond Dominique, Dominique Mundy. Mundy. <laughs> Shauna Naporti. Tabitha Reyes. <laughs> Kiara Charlize Reynolds. Richter. Shantae Riston. <laughs> Sabrina Robinson.
Joanna Monet Russell. Jessica Shun. <laughs> Teresa Shaw. Shanda Shear. <laughs> and Sarah Walters. Now, will the graduates with the Associate Degree in Nursing program please rise? Congratulations. Please be seated. Donna Allen. PAs too, too, sorry. <laughs> I was going to make you stand the whole time. <laughs> Afu Awuku. Allison Boone. <laughs> Sheena Burns Parker. Danielle Bush. <laughs> Angela Chambers. Courtney Dick. Dick. 
Emily Fargus. Allison Feedback. Nana Fei Foku. Marissa Hess. Jessica Sheree Hillman. Jessica, Jessica Nicole, Nicole Hillman. Hillman. <laughs> Kayla Hollister. Sharon Humphrey. Chrissy Jasper. Sierra Jones Saunders. Emily Miller. Whitney Muller. <laughs> Jessica, 
Jessica, Jessica Nazareth. Nitra Timsina. Felicia Wayne Scott. Congratulations to the ADM graduates. ADM graduates, please be seated. Now for the conferring of degrees. Will PN graduates please rise? Dean Lawson, on behalf of the faculty the and the registrar, have certified the candidates who are present have completed all their academic requirements and are entitled to receive their diploma. And now, by virtue of the authority vested in Honduras College of Nursing, I now confer upon each and every one of you the respective academic degree for which you have been presented with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, PN graduates. Please be seated. Will the candidates who, are, who will be receiving the associate degree in nursing please rise, who have received. Dean Kramer, on behalf of the faculty, the registrar has certified the candidates who are present have completed all their academic responsibilities and are entitled to receive their respective degree. Now, now, by, by the, the virtue, virtue of the authority, authority vested by Honduras College of Nursing, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Your turn. Your turn. Will all graduates please rise for the nursing pledge? Um, congratulations to all you graduates. I'm Professor Harris. I wanted to talk a little bit about Florence Nightingale. Uh, we know Florence Nightingale as the founder of modern nursing, and uh, British soldiers during the Crimean War uh, named or called uh, Florence Nightingale the Lady with the Lamp, and she, as she and her um, band of nurses took care of the British soldiers at night and well, just by the light of the lamp. Um, so today, as you begin your journey to carry the lamp, as, you, as your symbol of your calling to patients and families who are perhaps in some of the darkest days of their lives. And you will carry your lamp, you will light their lives, perhaps by a smile, um, by a word, or by a touch. So today, uh, we have this light. We've, uh, we lit the light for all of us here and for your journey ahead. And I would like to ask that you all join me in paying 
uh, paying a tribute to Florence Nightingale by reciting our Nightingale Pledge, which is on the front of your cover here, in which I have to put my glasses on to see. <laughs> okay, so if you'll join me, please. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the presence practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his or her work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill whenever they may be and wherever, whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Thank you. Graduates remain standing, others may be seated. All graduates, it's now time for the turning of the tassel. This tradition symbolizes your transition from candidate to graduate. Please move your tassel from the right to the left. It is my pleasure to present the newest graduates from Hondros College of Nursing. <laughs> graduates, please be seated. In closing, congratulations to all graduates. This commences the ceremony. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.